faster. Really? Yeah. Yikes. Like the, the train's going at 100 miles an hour right now. It's just, yeah. just flying it's like, by. Woo! It really goes fast. Yeah. Oops, too slow. You know, I used to pride myself in the ability to multitask with lots of different people and lots of activities going on, and then it was harder and harder to keep track of what I was doing. I'd forget what day it is, where I was going, why I was doing this. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Red. Finish, 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 finish. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, God. I can't tell you that. Part of it is not wanting to feel so like you're losing your edge, you know, or losing an ability that you were proud to have. Right over here, the front part of the brain, the prefrontal cortex, this part of the brain is generating those signals. So this is what he, this is actually being used in his latest shows right now. So cognitive control allows you to interact in the world in a really goal-directed way. So things like sustained attention, holding your attention to something that's pretty boring, or working memory, holding something in mind, or blocking out noise in a restaurant. So we know that as we get older, this ability declines. This is our story, um, uh, a reference to our article. We found that their multitasking abilities on the video game itself improved after playing it for a month, but we also found that other cognitive control abilities that we did not directly train, their sustained attention and their working memory abilities also improved after gameplay. Our ability of our brain to reshape and reform itself in response to the environment doesn't end after some stage in development, but it continues through our whole life. And if you have a very targeted training approach like we did in this study, you can have these really big impacts. Let's see what happens. Let's make sure it's a drive and shoot one. Oh, it's a shoot only. It means a lot. This is a great stepping stone for a lot of future cognitive interventions. There's a lot of things out there that are great, and this provides a little bit more validity to the idea of the brain being plastic. And furthermore, it means that we could potentially create better interventions. The folks in our multitask training group who played an adaptive version of NeuroRacer improved on their sustained attention abilities, their work in memory abilities, their multitasking on the NeuroRacer game, and these correlated with improvements in their neural activity at the scalp, specifically a signal associated with sustained attention. I'm 65 and I will age, you know, along with my peers. And we're going to need these things. I mean, we're all thinking about how can we improve our lives and, and stay healthy and, and in touch and focused and be able to accomplish things. So if this can really help us, it's great. These little slots, little openings, you put an electrode into, somewhat like the P1 slot. I'd go in like this. And if I turn this over, what you can see is this is an empty one. And there's one that has I think it shows that video game mechanics can be a really powerful tool to reshape the brain. Hopefully it'll help in people that are both healthy and unhealthy. One little car. It's down the road. One more point. We got it.